Oh man, it's so cold out. I got to get home. It's 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 January and I'm starting the year off not at home. What am I going to do? I got to get home. Where are you, Timmy? He's a sad lost bear. I'm so lonely. I was sitting on the edge of a stroller and I blew out and nobody noticed. I want to go home. And he's starting to lose hope. Please help me find my home. I want to go home to my friends. Please help me. Well, Teddy here is getting a helping hand and it seems a few new voices today from the Toronto public after he was found all lonely sitting here on this pylon on York Street. The woman who found him in the rain says it broke her heart to think of the little kid who is likely missing his best bud. So a few hours later, I was going out for lunch. He was still sitting there. It was starting to rain. So I picked him up and brought him inside. Well, Teddy's Good Samaritan didn't want to appear on camera, but she is hoping that we can help bring Teddy home. I was a little sad for him. Poor fellow was out there all by himself, lost, cold, wet, lonely. He's a pretty big bear, too, and he looks pretty well loved. Somebody's missing him. I think somebody's probably missing him. He's a sad looking guy, isn't he? He's sort of fallen down and droopy a little bit. He needs his kid. And although he's just some stitched together fur and stuffing, everyone seems to feel the same way. Why do you think people love these kind of stories? Well, we can all relate to losing something and having a, a special animal from our childhood that, you know, it makes sense to me. I, I have a, I have a lamb, Lammy, that uh, my grandmother held on to that you know, hey, I'm pushing 50 and I still have this thing and it still makes me happy every time I see it. So I'm, You'd be pretty sad if you lost Lammy. I would be very sad if I lost Lammy. So. I want him to go home to his own happy, safe place. <laughs> it's real. It's, it doesn't involve any sort of government or any, anything that's operating in a, a different area. It's, it's real. It's, it's the feelings of a little kid that's missing a teddy bear. Well, for now, this teddy bear does have a place to stay. In fact, he's been helping out with some office work here in this building downtown. If you know who he belongs to, you can contact us at citynews.ca. On York Street, Audra Brown, City News.